Don't look at me. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Hace... ¿Hace cuánto tiempo pasó eso? Hace año y medio. El presidente era otro, pero los problemas de nuestro lado de la frontera eran los mismos. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? No sé, creo que soy un poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. No, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. 
My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Uh, whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay? Let's move it. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. No, I got a question. Don't you know how dangerous it is out here? We have to give you a break. Why do you care? Because I'm scared. I'm worried too. <sighs> so tired of all this shit. Oh, no. When will we get a break? There is no reason. <sighs> shit. Is it morning already? Good job, then. Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. Shut up! No, what? You don't get to talk to me like that, Bobacita. You understand? Why am I in here? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Hope Seriously? Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. 
killing that officer in Seattle, vandalizing a motel room, caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, hmm? oh, which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? That's it! Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother! How'd you do that? How? Okay, oh, hands up! Shit, stop! Don't move! Don't shoot! Right now. Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, 
What do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. The mark, dude! Now! They're dangerous! Oh, Be careful! I'm scared. Fire Do extinguisher! Something. We will shoot if we need to! What the fuck? Understand? Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything! This is our... Put him in there! Now! Okay! Uh. 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 You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Hey, hey, Step hey. back. What did you do? You fucking oh, Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use them. Take it out, Daniel. Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Hurry, Sean. Drive. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say!
You know that day? In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I think their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could... I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be alright. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean, only the good shit. I will. I swear. On your knees! I said on your knees now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. He's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. Oye. He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never.